you guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is erica nicole welcome welcome go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would love to have you and for my girlies that are returning welcome back so um you guys today is an absolute gorgeous day here in dallas um as you can see i'm up i'm dressed ready for the day it's about nine o'clock just turned on o'clock um, super excited for today because I'm actually about to go on a um, road trip with some girlfriends of mine. We decided to go to the Magnolia Market uh, in Waco. Um, my friend girl, Abby, she was the one that um, came up with the idea because she typically works on Saturdays, but she's off this Saturday and decided that she wanted to do a little something, something. And I never heard of the Magnolia Market, but apparently it's a big deal. Um, it's a husband and wife that owns this place and they have a, a TV show or have appeared in a TV show or something like that. But um, it's called the Magnolia Market. And so we're going to go and spend the day there. Coming from Dallas, it's about almost a two hour drive. So not bad at all. Um, I commute every day to work, so I did not want to sign up to drive and do all of that, but I will be a passenger princess and pay for the gas all day long. No issues with that whatsoever. So um, she's on her way to pick me up, so super excited for that. Um, in this vlog, I also have an Amazon haul that I want to share with you guys. I picked up some of everything because... I've got a couple events that are coming up um, and I needed an outfit and things like that. Um, I am in a book club with um, my group and um, we chose our book for next month that we're going to be reading. So I'll share that with you guys as well. I also got some new home decor that I'm super excited about. So can't wait to share that Amazon haul with you guys. and. On tomorrow, I made reservations for me and my mom to go to um, Easter brunch at Kitchen and Cocktails, which has become one of my absolute favorite restaurants here in Dallas. So <clears throat> I love that place. It is amazing. This will be her first time going. So I'm, I'm super excited for her to get to try it. But um, yeah, you guys, I wanted to go ahead and open up the vlog because of course, um, I want to take you guys on this adventure that we're going on today um and it's just so gorgeous here the weather is great i think the high is going to get up to like 80 but it's supposed to be a slight overcast which is like my favorite type of day it's like a little bit of sunshine but we got enough clouds to where it's not too much going on especially um in the month of march i can't believe that we're almost in April. Like, y'all, I am booked and busy for the month of April. I'm so excited about all the fun things that, we, that we're that we going to get to experience together for the month of April. Um, and it's a couple of milestones in April for me. Um, it'll be two years that I've um, owned my house. It'll also be my one-year anniversary having micro locks. Like, there's, there's some milestones that are happening. Um, in April and then I'm also you know going to have a milestone for the month of May but yeah y'all it is it is good times going on over here and I'm so so happy that um, you guys have decided to to join me um, on these adventures on this journey just so grateful for you all so let me go on ahead and put my boots on so that way I can be ready when she gets here and I will check in with you guys here in just a bit Right guys, so we made it. We are in Waco, Texas. Um, we made really good timing too. So this is my first time in this area, but I've heard so much about it. It got all these cute little quaint shops. Super, super cute. And as you can see down there in the distance are the silos, but we're about to meet up with the other ladies. It's kind of windy out here today, so I hope that um, you guys can hear me okay. But there's the Magnolia Home Store. So yeah, super excited to be here. Looking forward to a fun-filled day. 
for sure. Okay, y'all, so I'm here at the Magnolia Press. Um, this is the coffee place. Super, super cute. Super cute. But it looks like, okay, so it looks like the Magnolia home um, is attached to it. Gosh, it looks just like the, um, the pictures that I pulled up. Super cute and quaint. I am, yes. Super cute, and of course you guys know I had to come over here by the candles. They drew me in. I'm not gonna purchase any though, but I am curious to see what they smell like. I love the wooden tops. Mmm, that smells really, really good. That linen does. Smells really, really good. So super cute in here. I'm not going to purchase anything, I don't think, but um, they also have a bakery. So I think that I am going to pick up some baked goods for me and my mom. Um, take us some stuff back. But it's giving me, it's definitely giving me all the magnolia feels. I was hoping that I could find some stems that were more, I know it's not fall, y'all. I know we're going into spring, but I was just hoping that I got lucky with some fall stems. I was going to grab some of those, but, but yeah. Super cute, super, super cute. Look at all these different vases over here. So I'm gonna go and find the ladies and um, see where we're headed to next. So you guys, we're in the, I guess you call this like the garden area. Really serene and peaceful. Super peaceful. And then over here is like the patio area where you can come out and um, eat your food. We're right behind the Magnolia Home store. So, yeah. Super cute and quaint. And there's the ladies up there. So it ended up being about, it's about 10 of us. Yeah, it's about 10 of us out here. So we're just browsing. We are headed to, um, to the food trucks now. Um, it's a little after 12, so um, we're probably gonna go ahead and grab us some lunch and do that. So yeah, just real peaceful out here. I love all the greenery. And let's see, I see something over here. Must be a little restaurant looks like. Kind of like over in this little area. Yeah, they've, they've got more benches over here. Kind of like even like a plate area for the kids the big kids they're throwing the football so yeah and then some other shops over there and that looks like a, an eating place so all right y'all let me go up here and catch up with the ladies all right y'all so we're pretty much like in the square um, kind of like in the heart of everything, but I wanted to show you guys the big silos over there. Um, I'm not sure about the history and what all that entails, but um, people make a big deal about it. And as you can see, they also have like picnic tables out here. They've got a little area over there for the kids to run around and play. It's very family, family oriented. And then over here, we got more 
places where you can sit and then they've got like a plethora of food trucks just all around. So the weather is perfect for walking around and just enjoying the scenery. Um, it was super windy at first, but the wind has calmed down. So, so yeah, you guys, this is just super cute. Super, super cute. Very, very hometown feel. So, um, I'll show y'all what I get to eat once, um, once we decide what we're getting. So, uh, it's picture time. So, let me go ahead and, and join the ladies so we can get our pictures. Shame on me. So, I ended up getting a bowl, but I've already started eating it. I did not want to finish it without showing it to y'all. Um, I also got their famous sweet southern tea here in the um, Magnolia Mason jar. So I'll be taking that home with me for sure. But we ended up getting food from that blue food truck over there. And um, yeah, we're just sitting out here in the courtyard and enjoying our lunch. And um, I'm definitely going to pick up a few things to go. Like they have um, this little popcorn stand over here. So I'm gonna grab some popcorn, maybe a few cupcakes and a coffee mug that I saw. But like I said, I wanted to show you guys my bowl. It is a mixture of rice, cabbage, and marinated pork with cilantro and a cilantro lime sauce. So yum, yum. All right, y'all, so I am here at the bakery. Um, just got me four cupcakes, two for me and two for my mom. But it is super cute. They have cupcakes, cookies, croissants. Um, so yeah, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the Magnolia store so I can pick up my coffee mug. Zoom in so y'all can see the the you guys how cute is this little garden situation it's so cute you guys and I have been getting like super educated since I've been here I had no idea that the founders of the Magnolia market that their line is also in Target. Their home line, home decor line is also in Target. You guys, I had no idea. Like, I'm a fan. Y'all know I love me some Target. Y'all know I love me some home decor. And just to be amongst their creation and you know, where they got their original start. Like, I am just super, super, super excited for that. But how cute is this? super super cute so just wanted to show you guys this little garden situation and look at this little antique truck over here look at that little antique truck y'all let me zoom in look at that how cute is that it's parked right in front of the right in front of the silos so we're just hanging out now um a group of the ladies went to go and get their cupcakes and then once they come back we're gonna head over to the the marketplace and grab some mugs and I think from there we're gonna go ahead and get on the road so yeah it's been a great day y'all so as you can see I made it back home um, had such a good time with the ladies I'm telling y'all anytime I link up with my girls it is always a time so we had such a good time today at the magnolia market and um i would suggest it if you are in the uh, metroplex area um i think that it is definitely worth the drive um we just had a good time in the car listening to music talking getting to to know one another um shout out to tanisha for driving truly truly appreciate you for for doing that but um yeah so had such a good time but um i am home now it is almost six six o'clock and so we ate 
and I did pick up a few things that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. Um, the first thing that I grabbed was this salted caramel popcorn. Um, it was from a place called Chuck's uh, Gourmet Popcorn, and they've been around since 2015. And so I went on ahead and grabbed a bag of that. I love me some popcorn, especially um, fresh caramel um, popcorn. So excited to try that. I also grabbed me, you guys know, that I love me a good coffee mug. And they had the cutest, the cutest coffee mug. And as you can see, it says Magnolia Market and Garden in Waco, Texas. So I thought that this was super cute. And you guys know that I love a good neutral, black and white um, type of tone. So this coffee cup really spoke to me. I just like the handle on it. And yeah, it's going to enhance my experience when I have me a good cup of coffee. So happy to have that. And then the last thing that I got was we went to the Silos um, Baking. Uh, it's called Silos Baking Company, but it is their bakery there on site. And so I went on ahead and picked up me and my mom some cupcakes. Let me see if I can show you guys what they look like without them falling out. So I got us a total of four. So I grabbed two, two of the, these are the cookies and cream. So got two of those. And I'm actually going to have one here in just a bit. Grab two of those. And I also grabbed two of the strawberry, the strawberry um, cupcake. So that's what that one looks like. Comes in this cute, cute little wrapper. So um, super excited to try those. The reviews that I read online um they had really good good reviews but you guys all in all it was just a great great day um at first i was contemplating if i was gonna even go or not because you guys know that <clears throat> that i commute during the week for work so i'm in the car you know a good chunk of the week you know when i when i'm going back and forth to work but um, i'm happy that i went like i said it was just some good some good camaraderie and the weather was just absolutely gorgeous. So like I said, I am home now. I am in for the night and I'm about to go on ahead and get out of these clothes and um, get relaxed and everything. So I just wanna go ahead and unwind, enjoy the rest of my evening, find me something good on TV to watch and just kick back. So I do still have the Amazon items that I want to um, share with you guys as well. So I will um, show you guys that haul before we take off to go to brunch tomorrow. So definitely to be continued, but for right now, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and relax for the rest of the evening. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day. Um, I hope that you guys are having an amazing Easter with your family and your loved ones. Um, I got up this morning feeling super motivated. I had watched a few Clean With Me videos um, with Candace Halligan on YouTube, and I absolutely love her channel. But I woke up feeling motivated and inspired, and um, I went on ahead and did a deep clean with my bathrooms, along with just like my basic cleaning that I do on Sundays as I prepare for the work week. But um, yeah, woke up and got that done. So I've been up pretty early, just got me a shower and got dressed because mom and I have brunch reservations at Kitchen and Cocktails. So we're going to be leaving here in about the next 15, 20 minutes. But before we get out of here, I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys my Amazon haul as promised. So um, I don't know if you guys, well, I think most people do this, like I'll go on Amazon and I'll just start putting stuff in my cart. And then once I have what I feel to be a large enough purchase, I'll go ahead and hit that submit button and place my order. 
So with that being said, there were just a few things that I was picking up along the way. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So first things first, um, I saw this super cute little top on Amazon. I had a green one also in my cart, but that one got sold out. So I ended up getting this cute salmon color top. It's got like the, the sun and the moon on there. And then what I really like about it is that it's distressed. As you can see, it's got like the, the cuts in it. It also has a cut right there at the top. And oh, and it also has a cut right there um, on the front of the shirt. But it is like a, a bit of like a midriff type of top. So I thought that I could pair this with some some leggings and some sandals, but I thought that it was super cute. And so I got this top in a large and um, yeah, so I, I'm gonna go back and see if I can get the green one, but the last time I checked, it was sold out. So I picked that up. Um, as I mentioned early on in this video, you guys, I am excited for the month of May because I'm actually going to be attending a tea party with like 25 to 30 other women. So you guys know that I am a planner. So I've already started, you know, um, I found my outfit and then I found the cutest headpiece with the matching gloves to go with it. And so that came in. But you guys, I love it so much. The outfit is pink and white. And so that is the theme that I'm going with. But look at this cute little headpiece. How cute is that? You guys, I love it so much. Like I can totally see the outfit in my, in my mind. Like I can picture it. And it also has the little clip on the back. So I can do this little um, head piece one of two ways. It, it came with a headband. And so I can clip this on the headband and wear it that way. But I think that I'm just going to clip it um, to my hair and just wear it like that. Yeah, because I'm feeling the clip and it's smooth. So it's not going to snag my locks um, or, or, you know, mess those up. But you guys, look how cute she is. Look at that. Ha! Ah, super cute. I absolutely love this little headpiece. So I have that already. And it came with the matching gloves, you guys. How adorable is this little set? So I love how it has the little bow right here. And then it has the matching tool that matches the headpiece. So the tool matches that and um, I've already tried one of the gloves on and guys, I just love it so much. And so I was thinking um, it is a two piece skirt set that I ordered for the um, for the high tee. And um, like I said, it's pink and white. And so y'all, I went back and also ordered me some fishnets to go up under the skirt. They are footless. Uh, fishnets because I am going to wear my white sandals with the outfit and so I made sure that they were footless but I found some of the cutest fishnet stockings to just like bring everything together so you guys I am just like super excited um, for this event as you can see I am super ready um, it is going to be the first Saturday in May and then um, after the high tea, we're gonna go a little down the road and we're going to also attend a derby. So i um, super excited. It's just gonna be a super fun filled weekend and I cannot wait to bring you guys along. So wanted to share that little ensemble with you guys. Um, my outfit should be here pretty soon along with the, um, with the fishnet stockings. So uh, moving on, so the social club that I belong to, um, Melanated Socialites of Dallas, they have a book club um, every month. They 
have it to where, you know, they'll meet in certain areas throughout the Metroplex. And for the month of April, they're actually going to meet, be meeting at this cute little cafe um, in Dallas. And um, so number one, the location was attractive to me. And then number two, the book choice for the month of April caught my attention. And so I ordered it off of Amazon because I am going to attend this month's book club meeting. And it's called Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. Um, it's a novel by Jane Allen. Have you guys read this one? Some of the ladies in our um, group have already read this book and they said that it is a really, really good read. So I'm gonna start reading this book um, this week and see what it's all about. But they said it's really good. I got this book, like I said, from Amazon for only 10 bucks. So not bad at all. So super excited to check this one out and see what it's about and attend my very first book club meeting um, with the ladies. And so last but not least, I watch, what is her name? It's Courtney on YouTube, but the name of her YouTube channel is, I believe it's Life, More Life with Courtney, I believe is the name of her YouTube channel. And she actually revamped her living room and y'all, the pillows that she had on her sofa, I fell in love with them. And so I was like, you know what? She dropped the link. She got them from Amazon. And so I went on ahead and got the exact same pillows. And I love them. So let me set y'all back just a little bit. Because I want y'all to be able to get the full view of this pillow, you guys. Because I love it. It's so gorgeous. But look at that, you guys. I absolutely love uh, this pillow. So um, you had to purchase everything separately. So I bought the pillow cover and then of course I bought the pillow inserts. Um, they are 22 by 22. And I love the faux leather detailing in the middle. And um, I was just like, you know what? It is just time for some new pillows on my sofa. I just wanted something that was a little bit brighter, a little bit more crisp looking. Um, the pillows that I have on my sofa now, I've had for like two and a half years. So, you know, with having runts here and everything and just us, you know, laying on the pillows and just normal wear and tear with things, it was just time for a new look. And so when I saw those, like I said, I fell in love with them. I think I am gonna go back and get like the little lumbar pillow but let me go ahead and take you guys in the front room so I can show you guys what the new pillows look like or how the new pillows look on my sofa. Okay, you guys, so here is what the new pillows look like on the sofa. I think it looks so good. It looks so much better than what I had before. Like I said, I am gonna go back and get the little lumbar pillow to go in the middle here because I feel like that would really tie everything in together. But let me step back a little bit. Look at that, I think it looks so, so, so good. So much better than what I had before. But very, very pleased with those pillows. And so I'll go back and order the other one. But um, yeah, very, very happy with the way that they turned out. So um, that is the end of the haul. I'm about to go ahead and get my shoes on get runt situated so we can go ahead and head out for brunch. All right, y'all, so we made it down here. Running a little bit late, but it's fine. They give you like a 15 minute grace period. So like I mentioned earlier, we are going to Kitchen and Cocktails. Looks like they already have a line down here. I knew it was gonna be crowded, which was why I went on ahead and made made reservations, so. All right, y'all, it's kind of loud in here, but I ended up going with the chicken and waffles, and mom got the same exact thing. So, I'm gonna get me some extra syrup, but the chicken is fried to perfection, you guys. Perfection. Hey guys, so we are back home now. Um, the food was good. We enjoyed it. The um, DJ, he was playing um, some really good music. So it was a, um, a pretty, pretty good experience for the most part. But, you know, with it being a holiday and everything, like it was just 
overly crowded, even just on the roads trying to get back home. I think we came across like two wrecks. So yeah, but I guess at least we did not have to cook today nor have to worry about um, cleaning up the kitchen. So um, yeah, so I'm home gonna go ahead and finish washing up um, the clothes that I have. And then after that, y'all, that's that's a wrap. I'm gonna get my work clothes ready for the work week. And I'm basically just gonna be able to chill for the rest of this Sunday afternoon. It's about um, three o'clock. And so made really good timing with that. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's actually about two o'clock, 2.30. So, um, so yeah, you guys, if you have enjoyed this vlog and you are not subscribed, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, guys, we're just having a good time over here. Just enjoying living life and, um, experiencing all types of things and just making memories and, um, <clears throat> just doing what, overall makes me happy and brings me joy. So thank you all so much for being here, for all of your support, and I will see you all in next week's vlog. Take care.